Hey everyone, I have a collective haul to show real quick. I went to Target, Michaels, Cosmoprof, and then I ordered something on eBay and I ordered something from uh, Colby's 1981. So this is what I got. Um, first I got a couple more of these labels. I use these ones the most on my mixes. If you have ever received a mix from me in a swap. This is probably the label that it has on it. Um, so I got two more of those. Those are the only two they had left. And then I found the, the little snapware um, storage boxes. And I got two of those. Um, I keep my glitter in like, here's here's a giant mess of glitter right now. But like, see the, I, I have the bigger ones from Target. And so these are the little mini ones and I'm going to use for, well, I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but I'm sure they'll come in use. Um, then at Michael's I got this cute little skull stamp and one of these ink pads. It's kind of a grayish green color. Um, I found these erasers on clearance for like a dollar. So I thought I would try cutting them up like Fimo. I know some ladies have been doing that with the ones they found at Walmart. So I got these ones which are um, let's focus here. Focus. There we go. Flowers. Oh and they're scented too. These are apple. Then I got these ones, which are stars and like little wrapped candies. And these are grape. Um, I also just grabbed one of these. It's my favorite glitter to mix with as a base, the iridescent mini hexes. Um, okay, now I have been trying to find taffy the glitter from Recollections Forever and I know lots of you have found the bigger jars on clearance um, none of the Michaels around me have ever sold the bigger jars so I bought the the little six pack that has um, taffy in it I have all these other colors <laughs> but I wanted the taffy one so bad so I used my 40% off coupon on this I mean, you can always use extra glitter, right? <laughs> and then I bought the Series 2 pigments from Pearl, um, the Pearl EX Series 2 pigments from Jacquard. And I have the Series 1. Um, that's what I made this silvery gray acrylic with. I used a pigment from the Series 1. But this one has this turquoise color, and I saw Rachel, uh, Glitter Girl 932, I think it is, um, use Martha Stewart's Blueberry Slush Glitter and combine it with this pigment and some acrylic, and it was gorgeous. So I called the Michaels around me, and only one of them had one left, so I had them put it on hold for me. Um, and I ran over and grabbed it, and I used a 40% off coupon on this. They're $25. Um, but if you get them with a coupon, obviously they could, you know, twelve fifty to I think I paid fifteen something for it, um, and a little bit goes a long way. So these will last you forever, and you can seriously make your own colored acrylic for so cheap. And they have a really pretty green one over here, and a purple right here, and they're all pearl finish, kind of shimmery. So I'm excited to try those. Um, then I went to Cosmoprof. Um, I'm a student, a nail tech student, so I get a discount. Um, you just grab some buffer blocks, and these are my favorite files. These are the 180 100s, 100 180s, sorry, and they're square. And they sell these at Sally too, but these were like 60 cents, so I just grabbed a couple. Um, but these are seriously my favorite file to use. 
And then I found the IBD 5 second ultra fast nail glue. And I haven't tried it before, but I hear really good things. So I'm going to try this when I change my nails out this weekend. Um, they also had OPI on clearance. So I got this really pretty, like, deep purple. It's looking blue on camera, but it's like an eggplant. And it is in the color. Let's get it to focus. Maybe. Well, sorry, you can kind of see it. It's Siberian Nights. But it's gorgeous. And then I got this pretty, like, burgundy shimmery one. It has, like, the flaky shimmer in it. And this one is called Pepe's Purple Passion. I think the light on my camera is making it too difficult. But look at that shimmer. It is gorgeous. Um, a couple more things. I bid on a whole bunch of like little rinky dinky auctions that were ending and um, they were all like six cents each. I'm not even kidding with free shipping. So I got these um, let's focus green lollipops with yellow bows. Um, purple lollipops with yellow bows. These are blue lollipops with blue bows. There we go. Um, these are like some purple sh glittery bows. Uh, yellow bows with rhinestones. Uh, pink glittery bows, white, like a milky white glittery bows, yellow glittery bows, these are like a lighter, lighter purple with rhinestones. Um, these are green with rhinestones. And then these are like a medium purple with rhinestones. And like seriously, they were like a dollar fifty for all of these. I won't use them personally on my nails. I don't like anything that 3D, but I will um send them out in swaps. And then finally I ordered um this glitter from Colby's nineteen eighty one, I believe. It's neon. Now, I have neon glitter, but this glitter is a little different. Like, it it looks matte almost, but it has some sparkle to it as well. But, like, they're, I don't know how to explain it. Like, let me get this to focus on the little dots that are adhering to the plastic. Okay, see how they're, like, they're those cool neon glitter dots. They're super, super fine. And there's a little bit of sparkle in there that you can see, but they're so cool. And it came in those six colors. This is like $3 for this little pot of glitter. And then I got um, just um, some silver. These are like the large silver holographic hexagons and the large red holographic hexagons. She has a store envy up, so um, go check her out. That's her name right there, Colby's 1981. And her shipping's really quick. Um, she does a nail art pack every month. Um, she only had a couple of these, so she might still have some in stock. I'm not sure, but go check it out and support her. Good prices, especially for this neon glitter. Neon glitter is kind of hard to find, so. Anyway, thanks for watching my haul, guys. Bye.